Good day and welcome to Big Bad Tech. I'm your instructor, Jim Pytel, and in this short application exercise, we'll learn to configure the OMROM 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive for jogging operation. This lecture is predicated on the assumption that viewers watch both the configuring multifunction inputs and three-wire control forward reverse circuit featuring the OMROM 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive lectures available at the Big Bad Tech channel. If you haven't watched these lectures yet or only dimly recall their contents, please take the time to do so now. Additionally, since we'll be dealing with this particular manufacturer's parameter programming process and navigation within it, it may help to download the associated datasheet and or user manual. In the previous application examples featuring the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive, recall we configured this drive for a proper sourcing arrangement by placing a shorting bar between terminals PSC and SC. Please do not forget this important step. Additionally, recall we hardwired a normally open maintain contact selector switch as input 1, a normally closed momentary contact red push button as input 2, a normally open momentary contact green push button as input 3, and a normally open momentary contact yellow push button as input 4. Given we've already wired up this associated hardware, we can simply reprogram the input to perform different functions. Note this simple functional reassignment really highlights the utility of motor drives. A couple of simple taps in the keypad allow completely new functionality without the time-consuming necessity of rewiring it. Recall that the previous application's exercises examined only a handful of the numerous available functions, namely 00 forward, 01 reverse, 21 three-wire stop, 20 three-wire start, and 22 three-wire forward reverse selection. Recall that forward and reverse act similar to a two-wire control circuit in that the motor is energized in the direction of choice only when that particular input is actively being asserted. The three-wire functions, in contrast, maintain or remember the last asserted state. All of these functions, you'll note, result in full-speed operation of the motor if given enough time to complete the acceleration period. Let's expand our repertoire by examining the jogging function, available on the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive. Jogging or inching, you'll recall, is the momentary excitation of a motor for the purposes of partial or brief movement of the shaft. Jogging using electromechanical contactors is discussed extensively in the Motor Starters with Jogging lecture available at the Big Bad Tech channel. You'll recall that jogging using an electromechanical contactor is the harshest of experiences, necessitating an electromechanical contactor make and often break inrush current. Additionally, the jogging experience making use of a primary voltage source with a fixed excitation frequency is characterized by a rapid acceleration of full speed and an extremely imprecise stop, often necessitating the inclusion of a spring-applied electrically released friction brake to increase accuracy. If the constant speed mode is to be likened to driving a car on a highway between two distant cities at full speed, the jogging action can be likened to a short trip between neighboring houses or parallel parking in a busy city. The fundamental flaw with jogging operations conducted by electromechanical contactors making or breaking contact with a primary voltage source with fixed excitation frequency is that even the smallest movements occur at full speed. Returning to our automobile analogy, zooming around the neighborhood in parallel parking at 60 miles per hour may yield less than desirable results. For this reason, most motor drives offer the ability to perform slow speed jogging in which excitation frequency and applied voltage are substantially reduced in comparison to full speed operation. Excitation frequency has a direct relationship with rotational speed, and if excitation frequency is substantially reduced, the jogging action can be performed with far more control and accuracy than previously. This would be analogous to slowly cruising around the town at a reasonable speed, much to the delight of neighborhood children and pets that make it a regular habit to play in the road. The Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive offers the slow speed jogging experience and is customizable using several related extended function parameters, namely A038, jogging frequency, and A039, jogging stop selection. Extended function parameter A038, jogging frequency, as the name implies, is the frequency at which the jogging action occurs. This has a default value of 6 Hz and is user adjustable up to just shy of 10 Hz. Jogging with the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive therefore can be thought of as not only brief excitation of the motor for the purposes of small movement, but also as slow and purposeful precise movement enabled by the speed control aspects of the motor drive. 
given a linear volts per hertz relationship, applied voltage at reduced excitation frequency is also proportionally reduced. Note when jogging is enabled, there is no acceleration ramp up to the jogging frequency, but rather quasi-instantaneous step-like acceleration to the jogging frequency. This being said, it's still substantially less harsh in experience than jackrabbiting from 0 to 60. Extended function parameter A039, jogging stop selection, offers three options, all detailing the different methods used to decelerate after the jogging action. 0, 0, the default state, is free spin to stop. 0, 1, is deceleration ramp down. 0, 2, is DC injection braking. The free spin to stop, as the name implies, simply depowers the motor after the jogging action halts. If unrestricted, the shaft would continue to coast to a stop. However, given jogging occurred at a substantially reduced speed, the coasting action would be relatively brief. Accuracy of the jogging action followed by a free spin to stop could be significantly increased if a spring-applied electrically released friction brake was coordinated with the run state of the drive. Additionally, the spring-applied electrically released friction brake could be used to lock the de-energized motor in place. Deceleration ramp down is an almost worthless feature following a slow speed jogging event given no great speed has been achieved in the first place. This being said, this option is available for those that wish to experience its utter worthlessness and heap scorn upon it as do I. On the extreme opposite end of the worthless scale is a DC injection braking following the jogging action. This is an extremely cool feature because it is a non-contact means of deceleration. DC injection, if you recall from the motor drive deceleration methods lecture available at the Big Bad Tech channel, is the momentary application of fixed DC to the stator windings, which fixes the ordinarily rotating magnetic field in place. The rotor then tries to align itself with the fixed magnetic field and decelerates without the necessity of physical contact. While DC injection braking cannot positively lock a rotor in place as can a friction brake, it however can provide limited holding ability. Let's configure this drive for basic jogging operation using input 1, the maintain contact selector switch as the jogging mode selection, and input 3, the normally open green push button as a two-wire forward command. Navigate to communication parameter C001, multifunction input 1 selection. Press mode. Increment or decrement from the previously assigned function to 06, jogging. Press enter to save it. Navigate to communication parameter C002, multifunction input 2 selection. Press mode. Increment or decrement from the previously assigned function to 255, unassigned, and press enter to save it. Navigate to communication parameter C003, multifunction input 3 selection. Press mode. Increment or decrement from the previously assigned function to 0, 0 forward and press enter to save it. Navigate to communication parameter C004, multifunction input 4 selection. Press mode. Increment or decrement from the previously assigned function to 255. Unassigned and press enter to save it. This motor drive has now been programmed to recognize input 1 as the jogging mode selection and input 3 as a two-wire forward command. Let's now configure the jogging operation. Navigate to extended function parameter A038, jogging frequency, select mode. Let's leave it in the default state of 6 Hz, essentially 10% of full speed. Navigate to extended function parameter A039, jogging stop selection, select mode. Let's leave it in the default state of 00, free spin to stop. Now that the inputs have been properly assigned and coordinated, we need to hand off control from the digital operator group to the multifunction input terminals. Navigate to extended function parameter A002, run command selection, select mode, decrement to 01, multifunction digital input terminals, then select enter to save it. Note we assign proper functions to the desired inputs first prior to handing off operation to the multifunction input terminals. Performing this sequence out of order could have disastrous consequences given an input might have a pre-assigned default function incompatible with the present configuration and application. Let's put this circuit to the test. When the selector switch is in the center deactivated state, we have placed this drive in full speed ahead mode. When an operator presses input 3, the motor drive increases applied voltage and excitation frequency. The motor accelerates and speed stabilizes. When an operator opens input 3, the motor drive decreases applied voltage and excitation frequency. The motor decelerates and turns off. 
Note in full speed mode, the motor drive applies full voltage and current maximum frequency during the constant speed run state, as we'd expect. When the selector switch is in the activated closed state, we have placed this drive in jog mode. When an operator presses input 3, the motor drive immediately applies a 6 Hz excitation frequency without a ramp. The motor drive's speed stabilizes at roughly a tenth of the maximum speed as we'd expect. When an operator opens input 3, the motor drive immediately halts conduction and the motor drive free spins to a stop. Note in jog mode, the motor drive applied substantially reduced voltage and excitation frequency, resulting in a far more controllable operation, as we'd expect. Note following the slow speed jog, the shaft coasted to a stop. While suitable for some applications, let's see if we can increase the precision of the jogging action by adding a DC injection braking event following commencement of jogging. DC injection braking is configured using two related extended function parameters, A054, DC injection braking power, and A055, DC injection braking time. A054, DC injection braking power, is expressed as a percentage of available power with a default value of 50%. A055, DC injection braking time, is the length of time the non-contact deceleration method is employed. The default braking time is a relatively snappy 0.5 seconds. By varying the power and period of DC injection braking, a load with established rotational inertia could be brought under control according to the needs of the process. Note DC injection braking is ordinarily meant to be a temporary event and not intended for continuous application. First, let's enable DC injection braking following a jogging event. Navigate to extended function parameter A039, jogging stop selection. Select mode, increment to 0, 02, DC injection braking. Press enter to save it. Let's operate this motor in jog mode with a default DC injection braking power of 50% and DC injection braking time of 0.5 seconds. As previously, when the drive is in jog mode, when an operator closes input 3, the motor drive immediately applies 6 Hz excitation frequency without a ramp. The motor speed stabilizes at roughly the tenth of maximum speed as we expect. When an operator opens input 3, the motor drive immediately halts conduction and rather than coasting to a stop as previously, snaps to a comparatively brisk halt given the 0.5 second DC injection braking event at 50% power. Is this cool or what? Let's now adjust some of the parameters controlling the DC injection braking event. Navigate to extended function parameter A054, DC injection braking power, and select mode. Because we're crazy, let's increment it to 100%. Press enter to save it. With substantially increased power, the DC injection braking event will occur much more rapidly. To illustrate the limited holding power of DC injection braking, let's increase the DC injection braking time. Navigate to extended function parameter A055, DC injection braking time, select mode. Increment to something ridiculous, like six seconds. Press enter to save it. As previously, the slow speed jogging event is followed by an immediate DC injection braking event. Only this time, DC injection braking lasts considerably longer. During the 6 second braking period, we can test the limited holding ability of the DC injection braking. Despite the fact I can turn the shaft, realize it's taking significant effort for me to do so. As soon as the extended DC injection braking period finishes, the shaft spins freely. Ordinarily, you wouldn't continue to apply DC injection braking event for this long unless you were really desperate, but it's too cool of a phenomenon for me not to demonstrate it. All right, that's about it for this quick application exercise. In conclusion, we learned to program remote inputs on the Omron 3G, 3JX, AE004 motor drive to perform the jogging function. Importantly, we recognize that jogging using a motor drive needn't be a harsh event as it is with an electromechanical contactor and a primary voltage source with a fixed excitation frequency, but rather a controllable and comparatively more gentle and accurate experience given applied voltage and excitation frequency are now variable quantities. Additionally, we examined various deceleration methods following a jogging event, including coasting, the deceleration ramp down, and DC injection braking. Remember to review these concepts as often as you need to really drive it home. Imagine how well lab will go if you know what you're doing. Thank you very much for your attention and interest. We'll see you again during the next lecture of our series. Remember to tell your lazy lab partner about this resource and be sure to check out the Big Bad Tech channel for additional resources and updates. Thank <laughs> you.